Hello right, guys, got a little video here for you today on the Leshy 2. Now what we're going to be doing in this one is removing and replacing the little indexing wheel on the back here. So on my rifle, the magazine doesn't rotate as freely as it used to. It's a little gritty. I'm not experiencing any magazine jamming issues or anything like that. But it does look a little sorry for itself, so we're going to replace it. First thing we're going to do is remove the bottle. And then we can take the magazine off. And then have a look at the back here. So we need to remove this little circlip on the end here. And I'd like to do that with a sharp pointy thing. So just poke in one of the holes or one of the slots in the circlip. And then just lever it off. So there it is there. It's quite small, I don't know how well the camera will pick that up. But there it is there. Next what we're going to do is pull down this little spring. Then the arm is free to be pulled off. Now obviously this spring's loose now so don't let it ping out. We'll stick the gun to one side. Next we need to get out this little pin here. So to do that I've made myself a little punch up, although if you were stuck you could just use a 1.5mm Allen key. They're not normally that tight, so we'll just put the punch over. Give it a few taps, then we should be able to just push it out. Like so. Right then, and there's the wheel. Don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up, but it is a little rough on the edges. So we're going to be replacing it with a new one. And then here's the new one. So this is just made out of Delrin. Nice and smooth. I just knocked it up on the lathe. You can get them from Edgun Spain, but they're super simple to make, so I just made mine myself. So next we'll put the wheel back in. And then take our little pin. It has got a chamfered side on it, so that goes in first. Put that in the hole. Once the pin's flush, I'll bring the little punch back and we'll just give the pin another couple taps. And there it is there. You just want both sides of the pin to be held in the housing. If you don't push it through far enough, what will happen is the pin just floats in the end there and it's only supported on one side. So, there it is there. With the roller back in, we can bring back the back of the gun. First thing we need to do is bring back our spring and our cradle. So we'll put that in the bottom there. Compress the spring down like so. Bring back our arm. Hook it over the pin. And allow the cradle to fall back into its slot. Last thing we've got to do is reinstall our little circlip. And then using some flat sided pliers, just push the circlip back into its seat. And there we have it. So then we can just reinstall our magazine. And that rotates nice and smoothly there now. No grittiness or anything like that. So it should cycle perfectly. We can put our butt piece back on. And with the rifle pointed in a safe direction, it cycles nice and easily. Right then, that's going to about do it for this one guys, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.